Yeah, hello. Um, welcome to my new video series uh, of uh, Silent Hunter 4. I have decided to um, discontinue the Fall of the Rising Sun series because uh, I had permanently problems with bugs of the mod and uh, I went back to the um, Silent Hunter 4 Trigger Maru Overhold mod in combination with uh, the Run Silent Run Deep Campaign mod. And uh, I start on the campaign right now. Music is off, that's good, that's also good. Okay, US is tuna, tambor class. That's too much personnel. Three, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty four. That's about correct. That's uh, twenty four times three, that's uh, seventy two. Then let's take two more. So we have 74. Um, the peacetime uh, complement of uh, Tambor class was uh, six officers and 54 enlisted. And um, the uh, wartime uh, complement of uh, uh, Tambor class boats was uh, 74. So I checked that uh, USS Triton was lost with 74 men, so I decided to use exactly 74. Um, I emptied the, cruise ber the crew berthing, so I can put uh, uh, the men here and here. If we have uh, water uh, danger, uh, uh, shit. If we have uh, depth charge attacks or destroyers coming in, so they don't get wounded here. Let's see what we have here. Three caliber 50 deck mount. That's okay. SD radar. Yup. Uh, Mesa 32 paint chim. Now that's too early in the war. And hydrophone sonar is here. 20 millimeter is there. Okay. Uh, yeah, the good old Mark 14. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, then, uh, wait a minute, just checking here. Okay, then let's start. Yeah, that looks like an interesting place to be. 150 nautical miles, okay. Yep, I think there is pretty of shipping to find. So, yeah, let's see what happens when we arrive there. Anti shipping operations, 150 nautical miles, okay. That's a nice picture. Yes, sir. I'll stop. Let's take a look on the boat. Yep, that looks good. Yeah, that's a nice one. Really nice one. Uh, do we have radar? Oh, yes, we have ST is working. Then let's have a plot of course. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Yes, sir. Then we go up to midway. Yes, sir. 
Okay, reason we go to Midway is uh, we will top off the fuel over here and then we go right straight down here to our patrol objective. And uh, yeah, let's see if we find some nice little Marus there to sink or maybe a warship. That's 150. Hundred fifty miles, okay. Uh, nautical miles, yeah. Okay. Oops. now it looks all good but I think we will see some action okay I cut the video here and be back with you when we have something to shoot at We have uh, reached our patrol quadrant on uh, 25th of December 1941 and started um, to plot search patterns. I uh, really do hope we find some uh, enemy shipping around the area of uh, Okinawa here. If we don't find any shipping in the area, we will uh, take a look in this region here. I think between uh, Taipei and uh, Kagoshima there should be some enemy merchant shipping. Otherwise uh, we will uh, request further orders or uh, ask for freedom of operation. Until then I cut the video here and be back with you when we have some news to report. Yes, sir. Crash dive! Yeah, so far we have just encountered airplanes. Um, but, yes, sir. Uh, Five planes set for steep dive. A holy metric boatload of them. induction indicates shut. I All hatches indicate closed. All vents indicate open. I'm dislocating the boat now to the Luzon Straits and uh, hope to find some shipping there. It's now the four zero. It's now the sixth January, nineteen forty-two. Current depth six zero. Current depth eight zero. It's our first months at sea. So far, Current we have one, just encountered zero, aircraft. Zero. No shipping. It's. Uh, Pretty obvious. We have uh, one, aircraft contact zero. here, thanks to our um, airborne uh, air aircraft warning radar. It's pretty obvious there is nothing going on Current here because depth. most one, likely all four, the warships zero. and uh, uh, troop transport and merchants are somewhere around here. Hong Kong has already fallen. Uh, Manila is. Uh, um, Surrounded. The troops are falling back to Batanen Corregidor. 
Yeah, Singapore is still in Allied hands. It's just a matter of time until that will change. But, uh, uh, yeah, this region here is one, six, zero. pretty empty, so I cut the video again here and be back when we have some news. January 9th, 1942, we have uh, sonar um, hydrophone contact of a merchant. We are going to intercept the merchant uh, and uh, trying to attack him. I have requested freedom of operation. It was granted. I relocated the boat to um, the south of uh, Formosa Island. There is the contact. Now we try to get into a favorable position. Yeah. And right as we surface to intercept the ships, uh, we have been uh, encountering uh, aircraft. Optimal, but uh, Cadet, four, zero. well, south of Formosa, Current uh, death, six, zero. it's a hot spot for airplanes as it was in the Current death, uh, eight, historical uh, settings, also. Um, they had uh, massive amounts of. Uh, um, death, army and one, navy zero, airplanes zero. around Toko. Then in here in, uh, in the middle of Formosa, they also had uh, uh, units up in Taipei. Death, one, two, zero. Current depth one four zero. See where the ship contacts are. Contact. Oh, there Merchant. are more than Closing. one. Bearing. One, two, long range. Passing through. Contact. Layer. Merchant. Closing. Bearing. One, one, long range. Contact. Merchant. Closing. Contact. Bearing one, six, one, six, long range. That sounds like a warship. Oh, yeah. Holy moly. That's nice. Yes, sir. Sweeping. Merchant. Closing. Bearing. One, six. Okay. Merchant. Bearing. One, seven. Closing. There are no airplanes to see, but... Uh, well... Just in case. Yes, sir. Sweeping. Merchant. Closing. Bearing. One, seven. Yes, sir. New course. Five. Yes, sir. New course. Bye. This is, sounds like a warship. Merchant! Bearing! One! Five! Closing! 
That's a single traveling merchant, a little bit far away. Merchant, bearing one, four, closing. Medium speed, that's okay. Merchant, bearing one, three, closing. Let's hope we can intercept them. Until that, I can um, I cut the video here and be back when we have reached a firing solution. Yeah, we have established um, a site to the uh, convoy. The convoy is uh, going uh, on a south southeast course. One that's uh, 157.5 degree. So we are going straight east and trying to intercept them. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Yep, that's... there's another one. There's another one. Oh yeah. Nice. I uh, went up to radar depth and uh, deployed the air search radar. And oh yeah, there are they, there they are. Uh, I'll be back with you when we have uh, reached our uh, perfect uh, range, and then we will attack the convoy. As we moved into um, intercept position, um, we have been um, spotted by enemy airplane and uh, these uh, bugger obviously alerted the escorts because they started chasing at me like Costa at Little Bighorn and... Contact! Merchant! Yeah. Constant distance! Barry! Two! Nine! Nine! Long range! Let's see what happens. I went to um, silent running and uh, went to beneath the thermal layer. So it looks like they don't really have a clue where I am and uh, he's not really going fast which means he's uh, uh, listening they haven't pinged me yet uh, but uh, I'm trying to uh, still get in a favorable position to intercept the freighters. At least uh, we know now that this is uh, somehow important uh, convoy because uh, it's uh, heavily escorted. It's uh, four freighters or to be precise, um, it's uh, um, three freighters and at least one tanker and guarded by three escorts. 
which means this is uh, somehow a very important um, convoy for the Japanese. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. This guy is steering right to me. That's not nice. Oh no, okay. He's also changing the course. listening via the hydrophones but they don't have a clue where I am so which means the aircraft uh, haven't given them an exact position just alerted them of my presence which is not bad Kagero destroyer and uh, some destroyer escort. They absolutely have no clue where we are.
Yeah. Just in case, but uh, yeah, looks like they have absolutely no clue where I am, which is not bad, so let them go back to their convoy and uh, get into a good position. Yeah, they absolutely have no clue. But that's early in the war. I would assume that will be changed during the later war so where are the others Normally I would uh, uh, I would ping them now, but uh, with two destroyers at my tail, uh, I think that's not quite a good idea. <coughs> there they are, still on the still on their course. Okay, so I get rid of these two idiots there, and uh, then I'll be back with you. Okay, we are in firing range and uh, we will start now the attack run and the first freighter is identified as uh, Kazaki-san was estimated yep that looks good is 20 feet which means we may get impact at 10 
High speed is a no, that's not good because high speed is just 4,500. Okay, so we have to wait a little bit more. Get them. <laughs> nice. Let's, let's hope. All works out. It really looks like they don't have a clue where we are. The escorts are back there. That's nice. One escort is right behind there. That's even nicer. That's the guy we target. And uh, yeah, let's let let's cl let's let them close in, and then maybe I go for the tanker next. It's not that we had that we wouldn't have time, huh? <laughs> okay, what's this? this? Is this the same? No, no that's something else. Not the tanker back there. Problem is, if I am too far away, they will see the, the bubble trail from the torpedoes. And uh, uh, I would bet they start uh, turning if they see the torpedo trails. So I try to get as close as possible. And uh, we'll use uh, high speed and contact. And let's hope these uh, top secret super duper torpedoes from uh, Bureau of Ordnance uh, uh, work. <laughs> uh, that pours out. Okay, let's go. Let's have a look again. like a viable solution to me. Distance is good.
Okay, fire tube one, fire tube two. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Nippon Maru, okay. Uh. Thousand tons, 20 knots. Draft is 28, which means we go for 15. 15. is a little bit off but uh, fire to one uh, to three fire to four that looks not bad Wrecking min. Oh, 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 that looks good. Good. You got ah, that's the Mark 14. Torpedo is a dead, sir. Oh, man. Okay. Let's fire another one. As far as I can see, they haven't seen me, they haven't changed course, that's not bad. If I just would have a few more reliable torpedoes, but there they go. Ah, nice looking. Okay, that's the, the missed one. This one, yeah, let's see if that works out. Well, it looks not bad on the first view. Let's hope the torpedoes work because at least one sunk freighter or something like that would be nice. Come on boys, come on. That looks not bad, it looks not bad. Yeah, they start turning, but uh, that looks good. Oh, please explode. Please. 
Oh, running too deep. Holy baloney. I really can feel for these poor swords from these uh, submarines with these shitty torpedoes. Seriously. I mean, like, seriously. It, I have fired so far six torpedoes. And uh, maybe, maybe he explode on the tanker. That would be nice too. But just imagine how many torpedoes they had to fire to sink one ship in the early stages of the war. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah, ha, 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 yes. Oh. Yeah, it ran too deep and it hit the tanker. That's nice. Oh, it broke in two parts. Wow. 10,000 tons, ladies and gentlemen, our first sinking of the war. Okay, and now... Yes, sir. Let's go Nine, down. Two, zero, zero. Because what yes, sir. Two, zero, now zero. could come would be not pleasant. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Current depth, eight, zero. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 10,000 tons. Nippon Maru. Current depth, one, zero, zero. Current depth, one, four, zero. Yeah. Okay, there are life rafts in the water. That's also good. And there she goes. Current depth, one, six. Passive zero. thermal layer. Now she starts burning, as all the oil or fuel leaks out of her tanks. Bearing one, five, nine, current depth, one, eight, zero. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. Take care about um, about the others later. Yep, there she goes. There she goes down. The remaining convoy is just going his way.
That's another freighter. Yep, that's 10,000 tons of fuel denied the enemy. That's good. Yeah, now they're chasing back to the convoy. Eh? <laughs> yeah. a little glitch here okay and I would say let's get the hell out of here It looks like my decision to relocate to uh, the south of uh, Formosa was a good one. Um, this is absolutely a good uh, uh, hunting ground. Uh, as we uh, creep away now, let me uh, just introduce the mods. I've played two mods. The one is uh, Trigger Maru Overhauled. I post the links in the video description. And the other one is called Run Silent, Run Deep the Campaign. What this mod, what, what this mod uh, does is uh, he brings in the historically uh, correct uh, Japanese convoy routes. The guy who made the mod literally did 1055 original convo lines from the merchant marine the IGM um, everything 1055 historically correct World War II Japanese convoys which means no more sinking six Yamato battleships and uh, uh, 28 Shinano carriers if you wanted to this is uh, historically uh, correct even the sinking uh, dates are uh, correct, which means, uh, let's say, Two, zero, three, the battleship Fuso is sunk, then it, disappe it disappears at the date of its sinking in here. So no more Fuso after its historically correct sinking date. This is as historically correct as it can get. And it's uh, one of the first mods who came out, if I remember correctly, they both came out about uh, 2007, are still played by many, many Silent Hunter 4 fans, including me. I've played all of them over the years, Real Fleet Boat, Trigger Maru Overhauled, uh, with in, in combination um, Run Silent, Run Deep the Campaign. Uh, it gives, uh, uh, compared to the stock game, it gives them a thousand percent more fun to play. It makes it harder, especially Trigger Maru Overhauled. And uh, as I said before, also with the with the all uh, uh, dot torpedoes, we have uh, so far uh, fired six torpedoes, three hit, three exploded. That means we had a failure rate of fifty percent. And uh, yeah. The real United States Navy had even more problems because, if I remember correctly, there was one submarine he fired, I think, 10 torpedoes on one tanker, and out of 10 torpedoes, not one exploded. And uh, yeah, that's frustrating. I mean, just assume you are in your U boat, no, the, in Navy terms, the submarine. And then you fire 10 torpedoes and none of them explodes. That's, that's frustrating. Uh, and I 
really don't want to know how many Navy careers have been ruined by the by the Bureau of Ordnance because at the first stages of the war they said ah, he doesn't have it, he is not a good commander or something like that. And in reality it was the fucking torpedoes who didn't explode. I really don't want to know how many good naval officers had their careers ruined and had relegated to some shitty desk job in, uh, uh, I don't know, Burns Grote in New Mexico or something like that. I Warship, bearing 302, constant distance. Warship, bearing 302, constant distance. Yeah, they don't have uh, the slightest clue where I am, but uh, an aircraft has joined the search. Warship, bearing 303, constant distance. And look Warship, at them. bearing 304, moving away. Yeah, he's uh, going down again. Dropping his load. There's the destroyer. But thank God that's far enough away to don't really bother me. Warship, bearing 303, three. moving away. Warship, bearing 302, moving away. Yeah. Warship, but now I really three, end the zero, episode. One. Moving away. Uh, until the next one. The second episode Warship of US Tuna's Adventures in the zero. Pacific. Moving away. See you later, guys.